Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be sharing this lovely textured blanket pattern with you. It is an easy two row repeat. You can make it in one single color and make a throw or make it colorful to make a baby blanket. To make this lovely blanket, I used Burnet Blanket Yarn in color tan pink. It is a size six Chenail yarn and vintage white fun blanket in color vintage white these are the two colors i use for this blanket along with it i also used a 10 millimeter crochet hook for the purpose of this video i have run out of tan pink so i will be using vintage white and coral blossom so gather your supplies and let's get started To begin the blanket with the cream color yarn, chain a multiple of four plus three chains. To make a blanket that was 34 inches wide, I started with a chain of 67. But for this video, I'll be making a small swatch. So I'm going to chain 23. That is a multiple of four plus three. So go ahead and chain any multiple of four plus three three I'm going to chain 23 every four chains will add around two inches to the width of your blanket I have now chained 23 that is a multiple of four plus three if you want to count the chains in the foundation chain it is hard sometimes because the yarn is fuzzy you can count these loops here that will give you the number of chains so that is one two three four five and so on so that's how you count your chains in this chenille yarn so now let's begin row one one single crochet in the second chain from your hook so this is the first chain and this is the second so work a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Work a single crochet into each chain across all the way to the end. So this is a single crochet row. Keep working single crochet in each chain across all the way to the end. Now I'm almost at the end of my row and I have two chains left. I will work a single crochet into those chains to complete row one. Now to begin row two, chain two, turn your work, chain two counts as your first half double crochet, skip the next stitch, this is your first stitch from which the chain two is emerging, so this is the second one, skip that and into the next stitch work two half double crochet stitches. Yarn over, pull up a loop in that stitch, yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook to complete your first half double crochet. Now work one more half double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop in the same stitch, yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook. Now chain one and work two half double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through all the three loops on your hook. Work one more half double crochet into the same stitch,
skip the next two stitches and work two half double crochet into the next. While working your half double crochet stitches, you might find it hard to pull through all the three loops at once. So you can pull through two loops at a you can pull through the first two loops and then pull through the last loop. I'll show you how to do that. So skip the next two stitches and work a half double crochet in the next yarn over. Pull up a loop. Now yarn over and first pull through two and then through the last one. So that will make it easier to work your half double crochet. So I worked one half double crochet and work one more half double crochet into the same stitch. So that completes my second half double crochet. Chain one, two half double crochet into the next. That's one half double crochet and then I'm working my second half double crochet. Now skip the next two stitches, two half double crochet into the next, chain one and two half double crochet into the next. So that is going to be our sequence. Skip the next two, two half double crochet into the next. That's one half double crochet. This is the second half double crochet. Chain one. Work two half double crochet into the next. So go ahead and keep repeating that until you have two stitches left. That is skip the next two stitches and work two half double crochet in the next chain one and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. So keep working like that until you have two stitches left and come back and I'll show you how to end the row. I now have just two stitches left one and two so I will skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet into the next. And that will bring us to the end of row two. Now to begin row three, chain two, that counts as your first half double crochet, turn your work, skip the next stitch and work a half double, front post half double crochet into the next stitch. So this is the next one which you will skip and into this half double crochet you will work a front post half double crochet. To work a front post half double crochet Wrap the yarn around your hook and insert your hook into the gap before the stitch and bring it up through the gap after the stitch. So you have inserted your hook behind the post of that half double crochet where you're going to work your front post half double crochet. Now pull up a loop, bring it to the height of the current row and complete a half double crochet by pulling through all the three loops. So that completes our first front post half double crochet and in the next chain one space work a V stitch. The chain one space will be right next to it. If you pull it apart you can see that it's right there. It will be hidden behind your front post half double crochet so don't miss it. It's right adjacent to this. Into that space you will work a V stitch which is a half double crochet chain one a half double crochet worked into the same space. So let's work our V-stitch, start with a half double crochet into the chain space, chain one and a half double crochet into the same chain space to complete our V-stitch. Now work a front post half double crochet in the next half double crochet right after that chain space, this one. So wrap your yarn and insert in the space before the stitch and bring it up through the next space. Pull up a loop to the height of the current row. Yarn over and pull through 
three loops to complete your front post half double crochet. Now skip the next two stitches that is this stitch and this stitch and into the next one work a front post half double crochet. So skip this and this and into the next one you will work a front post half double crochet. Pull the stitches apart so you can find the gaps between the stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space before the stitch, bring it up to the next space, pull up a loop and complete your half double crochet. Into the next chain one space, right after it, work a V stitch which is a half double crochet, chain one and a half double crochet. So work a half double crochet, a chain one and a half double crochet into the same stitch. So that completes our V stitch into the next half double crochet right after the chain one space work a front post half double crochet yarn over and insert your hook behind the post of the next half double crochet pull up a loop to the height of the current row and complete your half double crochet now skip the next two stitches and into the next half double crochet work a front post half double crochet A V stitch into the next chain one space that is a half double crochet chain one and a half double crochet now a front post half double crochet into the next stitch now keep repeating this that is skip the next two stitches a front post half double crochet in the next stitch, a V stitch in the chain one space and a front post double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches. Keep on repeating that until you have just one stitch and the beginning chain two left. Now I have just a half double crochet and the beginning chain left. So I will skip the next half double crochet and on top of beginning chain two I will work the very last half double crochet stitch to complete this row. So that brings me to the end of row three. Now to begin row four, chain two, turn your work, skip the next stitch. The next stitch is pushed behind so don't miss it. This is the next stitch, skip that stitch and work a front post half double crochet into the next. A V stitch into the next chain one space. That is a half double crochet chain one and a half double crochet. A front post half double crochet into the next stitch skip the next two stitches they they will be pushed behind so just pull apart your work and look for the next two stitches one and two right there so this is a stitch you will work into skip the two stitches and work a front post half double crochet into the next It will be the front post half double crochet before the chain one space. I'm sorry, the half double crochet before the chain one space. That is the one you will work into. And into the chain one space, work a V stitch. That is a half double crochet, chain one, and a half double crochet. Now work a front post half double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches, one here, one here and into this stitch before the chain one space work a front post half double crochet.
this row is the same as row 3 but your stitches will be pushed behind so that's why I want to show you this once a B stitch into the chain one space and a front post half double crochet into the next stitch now keep repeating that until you have one half double crochet and the beginning chain left that is skip the next two stitches work a front post half double crochet and then a V stitch into the chain one space and then a front post half double crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that all the way until you have just one stitch and the beginning chain left. I now have just one stitch and beginning chain left. The stitch that's pushed behind here and then the beginning chain. So I will skip the next stitch and on top of beginning chain two, I will work a half double crochet to complete row four. Now chain 2, turn and from now on every row is going to be a repeat of row 4. Keep repeating row 4 for another 3 rows and then at the end of row 7 we will join the next color which is the pink color. To count your shell rows you need 6 shell rows in one stripe. This is the first single crochet row. To count the shell rows, it is easier to count the beginning chain of the stitches on the side. So you have one, two, three. So, so far you've completed three and you need three more shell rows before you change colors and start working with pink. So go ahead and work three more rows. So you have six shell rows and then I'll show you, I'll meet you at the end of that final shell row and show you how to join the next color. I'm now at the end of my sixth row of shells. That is the first single crochet row and one, two, three, four, five, and this is the sixth one. I have one stitch and the beginning chain left now, this one and the beginning chain. So I have to work a half double crochet into the top of the beginning chain, but while doing that, I will be joining the next color. And for this video, I'm using Coral Blossom in place of the tan pink. So I will be joining that color. And to do that, yarn over, insert your hook into the beginning chain and pull up a loop. So you start just like a regular half double crochet. And when you have three loops left on your hook, you yarn over with the new color to complete your half double crochet. Then gently tug the previous color to make the stitch tight. So now you have joined the new color yarn and you can start your next stripe by chaining two with the new color. You can fasten off the cream color yarn. And now with the new color join, you will continue repeating row four. That is skip the next stitch and work a front post half double crochet in the next. A V stitch in the next chain one space. A front post half double crochet in the next. Now skip the next two stitches, one and two, and a front post half double crochet into the next. V stitch into the next. And a front post half double crochet into the next stitch. And so on that is just keep repeating row 4 with the new color you join for the next six rows and you can count your rows by counting the beginning chain or the first stitch in 
at the edge right here so work six rows of your pink color or whatever accent color you're using and when you are at the end of your sixth row you will join the cream color for the next stripe just like you did at the end of your cream stripe while working your very half double crochet you will pull through the new color to complete your final half double crochet of the sixth row of shells and then keep repeating six rows in each color until you have seven stripes if you want more you can keep adding more but you have to make sure that your first stripe and the last stripe are of the same color so go ahead and work as many stripes as you want and with a cream stripe and come back and i'll show you how to add a final last row to finish your textured blanket after you complete your last stripe do not fasten off we will be adding a leveling row so chain one and turn one single crochet in the first stitch the stitch at the base of your chain one into that work a single crochet now across the next stitch and the chain one space work a single crochet two together to work a single crochet two together pull up a loop in the next stitch pull up a loop in the chain one space yarn over and pull through all the three loops to complete your single crochet two together now one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three work a single crochet into each of those one two and three now across the next stitch and the next chain one space work a single crochet two together pull up a loop in the next stitch pull up a loop and chain one space yarn over and pull through all the three loops to complete your single crochet two together or single crochet decrease now work a single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three so go ahead and work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches a single crochet two together across the next stitch and the chain one space single crochet across the next three stitches one two three and so on keep repeating that until you have two half double crochet and the beginning chain left that is a single crochet two together across a stitch and the chain one space and then three single crochet that is one single crochet in the next three stitches that is the sequence so keep working that until you have two half double crochet and the beginning chain left now I'm almost at the end of my row and I just worked a single crochet two together across a stitch and a chain one space and I now have one half double crochet, two half double crochet and the beginning chain two left. Now go ahead and work a single crochet on top of each of these. That is a single crochet on top of the next half double crochet, another single crochet on top of the next half double crochet and one half double crochet on top of beginning chain to end your last and final row of the blanket you can now pull through that last loop and fasten off so that completes your textured blanket if you enjoyed working this lovely textured blanket with me don't forget to like, subscribe and press that bell icon to receive notifications when I post new patterns. Thank you so much for watching.